It is important for the warlord to have information coming from all corners of the realm. Some of the information he receives will be useful and good. Other information will lie in the realm of deception or no deception. When the ruler is preparing for war, the expense of running the state can become excessive. It is essential that information be useful and not costly due to the implementation of mistakes. If a warlord fights battles that last for extended periods of time and does not use the resources available to him for victory, then he is wasting those resources by not using them and does not have the goals of the ruler in his heart. He expends effort and energy needlessly by not seeking assistance which can make him more effective and his victory quicker. Stalemates in battle are caused by a lack of information and supplies. The wise warlord knows that to beat the enemy he must have information that he can use to win. He must also be aware of receiving too much information. This is as bad as not receiving enough information and can confuse matters, making it difficult to initiate correct action from wise decisions. An efficient warlord is discerning. He realizes he cannot get special information by petitioning the gods, nor can it be obtained by ordaining soothsayers and priests. This information can only be obtained from men who will do what is necessary for their own causes. They are called spies and traitors. There are many types of spies and their differences must be known. Proper usage of their skills is also advantageous. If they are available and the intelligent warlord knows who they are and does not use them, then perhaps someone with a more astute vision of the world will. There are five different types of spies. They are called foreign, internal, counter, extraneous, and vital. They are all to be thought of as secret agents and are as deadly as vipers. This must be realized. Agents are invaluable and must be treated accordingly when they provide information that can foster victory. They must never be taken for granted and their identity must never be revealed. If they are found out, they are certain to be put to death by the enemy. This reason alone suggests the potential value of their information. Their worth can never be estimated. A foreign agent is a spy who comes to the warlord from the enemy country. He is a citizen and is usually displeased with conditions. He may not have connections into the government, but he can relate to the true feelings of the people of his native land. Internal agents are those who are working for the government of the enemy and are displeased with national conditions and their own lots in life. They will sell information to the highest bidder. They have no loyalty to anyone, and though their information may appear to be valuable, it must be thoroughly checked. Living life through a facade, they are self-serving and have no values other than their own. They do not care who is victorious. Counter agents are internal spies who have been found out, and rather than being put to death, they act with treason to save their lives. The wise world lord tempers them with lavish gifts, turning them to his own cause. They must be handled gently and given the latitude they need to operate. Care must be taken to determine that they are not planted double agents. This can be learned by observing their activities and conduct. It should be realized that they may be aspects of the enemy's deception or no deception attitudes. Extraneous agents are those in the warlord's employ who are untrustworthy. They are constantly given erroneous information, knowing that they are working as double spies for the enemy and like manner to a counter agent. Dispose of them when they have served their purpose to prevent them from turning on you. Vital secret agents are natural citizens of the warlord's realm who devote their lives to the propagation of the ruler's desires. They enter into foreign countries and return with information. Their mentality does not permit them to turn into extraneous agents. They are true to the cause, their main concern being the ruler and the people. They are usually very intelligent and deceive the enemy because of their outward appearances. All information is obtained from other people, so whatever their motivation, they are spies. All governments and all businesses are infested with spies of every type. Sometimes the spies themselves do not know they are spies. The judicious warlord is careful in selecting the men with whom he surrounds himself. In matters of working with agents of any type, it is essential that the warlord be just and compassionate in these matters. He must also be subtle to elicit the information in the spirit it is intended to be used. All agents, regardless of their position and rank, should be disposed of immediately if they cause the slightest concern regarding their truth and devotion. When the warlord is preparing to enter into battle with an enemy, he must know the names of the enemy commander, the size of the enemy army, and their positions. Without this information, he is as a blind and deaf person entering into a perilous journey. Secret agents will get this information for him. Understanding the mentality of agents is important when recruiting them. Information gleaned from native internal spies gives the warlord the power needed to employ deception or no deception techniques and methods. Everyone has their place and everyone has their value. This perception permits the intelligence use of agents. Most of the information is obtained from the double agent. Counter agents will provide you with additional spies when they are needed, native and internal. The vital agent incalculable in his value is too nearsighted. Agents are of the utmost importance to the successful operations of the warlord. Only those warlords who are intelligent and enlightened can use them properly. Without secret operations, a war is a meaningless act of gratuitous violence that does nothing except destroy all the people and all the resources. Study these lessons well. To master them means you understand the true arts of war.